Hello friends, welcome back to my book review channel. My name is Phoenix and I am so glad you're here with me today. Today is our final book, of our final thriller of October. Um, I actually read, I think, three other books for this month, but I think it's time to be done with the thriller. And I had to read a couple of um, fantasy books as a palate cleanser to kind of get some of these some of the terrible things I've read about in the last couple of months out of my brain. I didn't read anything too terrible, so it's not like it was uh, horrendous. I'm I'm being a little dramatic, but after a while, the dark and uh, dreary was enough, and I needed something to kind of brighten my mind. So that being said, our final thriller is called "Give Me Your Hand" by Megan Abbott. Um, I did review one of her novels earlier this month, and um, this is probably my second to last favorite, or second, this, there was one book that I just, that I didn't enjoy more than this one. I, and it, it's, it's not even fair to say that I didn't enjoy this one. I did, there were just certain, well, I'll, I'll tell you about it. So. So we are introduced to Kit Owens, who is a very serious, very studious young scientist working for the, in the lab of a very esteemed Dr. Severin. Dr. Severin is doing PMDD research and uh, has just, just been awarded a very big funding. However, everybody who works in her lab knows that has been awarded a very big funding. I don't, I feel like I could have said that better, but whatever, it's done now. Um, but having said that, everybody in her lab who works for her currently knows that there's only so much funding for research assistants. So who will make the cut? Um, the, and it's primarily a male field. They're mostly guys that work there, but some of them have been working with Dr. Severin for quite some time. Dr. Severin herself as a character is quite uh, intimidating, uh, just a very imposing figure and frightening. Um, she doesn't have a whole lot of personality. I think that's because she's made to seem so imposing. You do get a little glimpse of her towards the end, but I don't know, very, very interesting character. Now, the reason that Kit Owens actually works for uh, Dr. Severin is because when she was in high school, um, you know, she was middle of the pack. She wasn't, she was smart, but she didn't push herself to exceed. All her friends, they were, she was smarter than any of her friends, but there was really no impetus to push herself to do better until Diane Fleming showed up. Diane Fleming was a runner just like her and was very smart and diligent and inspired Kit to uh, push harder and to apply for a um, uh, program where she could work with Dr. Severin even at that early stage of the game. Um, and through her hard work and efforts, she has eventually come to this uh, juncture in her life where she is working directly with, or not directly, but working with Dr. Severin in her lab. Um, <laughs> my dogs are playing. Um, so, <laughs> she's left Diane Fleming behind in the past, but Diane has come back. Uh, Dr. Severin announces that Diane Fleming will be joining them. And everybody knows at this point if Fleming has, uh, sorry, if Dr. Severin has headhunted, I'm sorry about that, but that's going to be going on for a while. Um, if Dr. Severin has headhunted Diane, she's more than likely going to get one of the lab assistant positions. So that's one less for them. Now, um, the landscape of this novel is very much very focused, all about the lab. Kit is a very serious individual. She has to be. She's given up a lot to be where she's at. Um, she doesn't have a lot of money. She doesn't come for money. And uh, she really, to achieve what she's achieved, she's had to be very focused and very dedicated. However, 
she is sleeping with one of the other lab assistants. Um, and unfortunately, when she finds out that Diane is coming to work with her, or work with them in the lab, um, she lets out a little secret that she shouldn't have. And Alex says he's gonna take care of, Alex is the um, lab, lab assistant. I don't know if, that, I, I'm not sure that's quite right, but he's the lab assistant that she shares this with, that she's having the affair with. Um, and therein lies the reason that Diane and Kit were no longer friends. Uh, while they were in high school, Kit, um, or excuse me, Diane revealed a secret to Kit that destroyed their relationship and Kit never forgave Diane number one for telling her and number two for being who she was. I guess, oh, and then also let's talk a little bit about the point of view. This is all told from Kit's perspective, but we do go back and forth. We jump back and forth in time as we, the, as Diane's secret, secret is revealed. We kind of need the little bit of backstory on like how they met, how their friendship transpired, how much time they spent together. And it is interesting because they actually spent a very small period of time together and yet their lives are, you know, Kit would never have gone on to, to do the things she did had it not been for Diane's influence. Um, oh, and this is all very contemporary. It's a, it seems like a very contemporary novel. Um, so shortly after Diane gets to the lab, there is a death in the lab. Um, and Kit and Diane try to take care of it. Um, and it gets really messy. There is one other person that I want to mention, and that is uh, the, per the gentleman who takes care of the lab animals. So like the rats and the rabbits and all the animals that they experiment on. He's very uh, serious about his job. His name is Serge. And he's very serious about his job and he plays an integral part in the story. He's a very interesting character himself. I did think the pacing was a little bit slow. Um, and my expectations with regard to this novel were pretty high considering some of the other works that this author has written. And I, I, it's so confusing because on one hand, I do love a lot of the elements that she brings to play. The, the dynamic between Dr. Severin and her office, her, her lab assistants, um, the dynamic between Kit and Diane, uh, the dynamic between, it, you know, it's a male dominated field with women in it. it it's, it's, there's so many things that I did like about it, but I felt like what happened with Diane, her whole secret, there is an element to me of Kit not being a likable or uh, even an understandable character because I don't know if I'm missing something, but I kind of understood Diane's perspective. I kind of understood where Diane was coming from or why she did what she did. And so that Kit was so definitively, and, and I, I'm not trying to judge it because on one level, that's just how she is and everybody has a right to be how they are. And this is just something that Kit could not abide and that's okay. It's just hard for me to understand that. So I didn't enjoy it on that level because I didn't really understand it on that level. Um, the resolution of the novel, pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That was uh, not that I would, but I hate when people say that. It makes me think they're lying. So then I went and said it. Uh, <laughs> I did actually enjoy the ending. Um, I did not see it coming. And I, it added another layer to the dynamic between the two women. Um, overall, it was okay. If you like thrillers, this is probably my, this was not my favorite, but it wasn't a bad one. It just, 
Aside from the ending being um, pretty good, the rest of it kind of fell into place. You kind of had the idea that these things were going to come about in some way, shape, or form. Nothing seemed too extraordinary or out of the norm. And I know that like, you know, everything's been written already. So really the only thing you can do is have a good style on it. But I just, it just didn't get me. So it was solidly written. So I'll give it that there was, you know, again, while I did think it was a little bit slow, it was good. Like it was compelling. Um, it just, there was just so many other books I read this month. So I would probably give this one a seven out of 10. But if you like thrillers, uh, I, I wouldn't miss it. You may like it more than I did. Um, and I am grateful that I read it. I'm not, it's not like I'm like, oh, I wasted time with that. I don't feel that way. Um, there was one book I read this month that I did feel, well, I didn't feel that way. I, I, even that book had its merits. So I'll discuss that at a later venture or juncture venture juncture. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me for our final thriller of the month of October for the month of October. I'm struggling today, friends. Um, and I am so grateful for your presence. I will be back next Sunday. We're starting a new month and oh, well, if you're watching these in order and if you're watching them as they're released, uh, there will be another book review on Sunday. Uh, please take care until then.